hi guys and welcome back to my channel okay so today guys i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this fondant edible nose mask so um in my previous video where i made a video about um i made a coronavirus cake video i made a nose mask so i thought to make like a separate video like titled so people can actually find this video and be able to make a nice realistic looking nose mask <laughs> made out of fondant okay so let's examine the normal nose mask yeah it has like white tapings on top and at the bottom and then it has the same lines by the sides and on top of the bottom as well and then it has like the string for attaching it to your ears attached to the back of it so that's what we're going to be doing today okay so the first thing we want to do is take some of our fondants that i already colored this kind of green blue i was trying to make it as close to the color as possible but i have a problem with actually color matching i think that's one of the biggest problems i have like when customers send me a cake and they want me to match the exact color of a particular thing it's very difficult for me i don't know why anyway so um if that happens to you to just make sure to tell your customers in advance that it won't be exact because you don't know how to do exact same thing so some of them will stay and some of them will go but to save you the headache of having to explain why like it's not the same color even though she told you she wanted the same color anyways that aside <laughs> i tell too many stories okay so let's move on so i'm spreading this very thin you want it to be very very thin and at the same time i already thickened this fondant with some tylos paste with some um cmc powder okay so this is not just regular fondant i already make it strong and thick with cmc powder so if you want to know how to make sugar paste just like this this is sugar paste actually if you want to know how to make sugar paste from your fondant i have a video on this channel i'm going to put a link right up here it says click on me yeah click on that and then you can see how to make your fondant really stiff and so it can be easy to work with and so it will dry really fast yeah i mean usually i do these things you're supposed to do these things beforehand but i did it on the same day i needed it and it dries really pretty fast so you're going to see how to do that and how to like use it to make toppers that will dry really fast click on the link right above here it says click on me yeah click on that okay so i'm trying to fold it the first um nose mask i did some months ago i kind of folded it into the shape but for some reason this one just wasn't doing and it was stressing me out and i couldn't remember how i did it actually watch that video again to see how i did it because there's some things i don't really remember how i did if you tell me to do it again it's kind of difficult because <laughs> i can't remember how i did it so i just thought okay that one i folded it over into making those three plates in the middle there are three plates in the middle of a nose mask that's why when you wear it like it kind of becomes bulgy in the middle so like your nose can breathe and stuff so that's what i'm trying to make here but for some reason it wasn't turned okay so i said to try another approach so the point here is that <laughs> when you're making a cake if you've done something before if you've seen someone do, do it a certain way and if that's not working for you try a different approach like there are no one size fit all for these things like you can do one thing like 10 different ways as long as that's what's comfortable for you and it looks like what you're trying to make that's what's important okay so i decided to pick my ruler stroke my leveler and like to make three lines and then like kind of make strips and use strips to make it instead of folding and i kind of realized using strips to make it makes it a little less bulgy then the first one i made and it looked just as nice so okay so now in this video we're going to be like cutting strips and you want to make sure those strips are um what's the word you want to make sure they are kind of equal if they're not equal almost equal kind of so that's what you are looking for okay so i'm cutting my strips with my sharp um razor i use that i buy that razor in bulk so if you do a lot of fondant cake decorating you need a razor like this because it makes your life a lot easier so right now i'm trying to trim this the size of my fondant nose mask because i don't want it to be too too wide or too like big or stuff you get okay it's going to be slightly bigger than the regular nose mask but you know you guys get me okay so the next thing i want to do right now is to take um my food brush i have some food brushes and a bit of edible glue if you want to see how i made my edible glue i make it from remnant um wafer paper scraps yes i'm going to put the link right up here for you you can click on that you can use it to glue wafer paper you can use it to glue fondant and it is very nice and it is not extremely sticky or too wet it's just the perfect consistency so if you want to see that click on the link right above here 
there's a card right there you just click on me you click on that okay so i'm putting some edible glue on top of it and then i'm leaving a space in the middle in between two um strips if that makes sense you want to leave a space to look like you folded it over you don't want them to you don't just want to paste them and make them like side by side you want to leave a tiny space that is kind of equivalent in both sides so we're going to be putting three strips and we're going to be gumming it like beside one another but there will be a tiny space in between so now that we are we've done that we want to cut out the extra fondant by the side because this fondant by the side you don't really need them and then by the other side as well so now we have the like this is the regular shape of it's beginning to look like a nose mask if you notice okay so the next thing we want to do after this is to form i think it's a little too wide so like i'm reducing the size reduce the size on the top and the bottom and make sure it is symmetrical and nice okay so i think it is fine this way so the next thing i want to do at this point is to take my um scoring tool there's this tool you can use to score like same lines on top of it they are big ones and they are small ones so i'm using the big one the small one comes in a set of um um, fondant modeling tools yeah but the big one you have to buy it separately and it is very cheap i think it's about it's less than three dollars actually yeah okay so that's what i'm using to score those seam lines in the top and then the bottom as well and if you notice those seam lines you want them to be really deep and let them show because when you look at like a normal um sorry my voice is weird because i just woke up when you look at a normal um <laughs> nose mask it has like really pronounced same lines by the sides and on top so that is what we are doing right now you want to put the same lines at least two or three depending on how big your nose mask is okay so now that we are done putting same lines we are going to be putting the white lines there is supposed to be a white line on top at the bottom if you look at the normal nose mask it's at top and the bottom and not by the side just top and bottom and then there should be the elastic thing that you use it to attach it to your ears that's what we're going to be forming next okay so i'm going to take some white fondant and i'm going to mold it in my hand and then stretch it you want to make it really thin because it's supposed to you're supposed to put it on top and at the bottom so you don't want it to be bulging or to be too bulky basically so you want it to be very thin so roll it as thin as possible and then we are going to cut we're also going to cut this with our ruler slash leveler <laughs> if you don't have a cake leveler guys you should get one yes when you put it on your table while you walk and you take a picture it makes you look like you're a bricklayer but it doesn't matter it makes your cakes very leveled like and it gives you actually when you're making tiered cakes you know your cakes are leveled it's not like maybe once you're done um assembling your cakes it begins to look crooked and you're like oh i didn't see this before so get a cake leveler if you don't know if you are if you decorate cakes a lot so and if you want to buy some of my favorite cake tools i'm going to put links for you in the description box below there are some tools i find work and there are some tools i find like there's some tools when i use i know oh this tool was not described by was not um produced by a cake decorator because it doesn't exactly works but it doesn't exactly work as well so if you want to find my favorite tools that work and for you to get perfect fondant and cream results yeah i'm going to leave, leave the link for you guys in the description box below to check them out okay so i took some of those strips and i made the um things for the ear but i attached them to the back you know like in the normal in the regular nose mask is attached to the back of your nose mask the part that faces your face when you wear it okay so that was what i did so i'm taking those strips again i'm taking one of it and attaching it to the bottom of the nose mask and you want to make sure it is straight and it is like fitting and cut out the excess by the sides so once we are done with that we are going to go to the top and do the same thing this is very easy to make and it is very nice i didn't like i tried to make it for you guys in like real time without like fast forwarding too much yes i guess some comments about like i cut away some of the important parts of my um making videos and that makes it difficult for some people so here you go guys i hope you enjoy this tutorial because i enjoyed making it for you guys the, i think the only difference with this nose mask and the original nose mask is that <laughs> the color is weird i don't know how to match colors i don't know why maybe it's something with my eyes i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed this video because i enjoyed making it for you guys thank you for always watching my channel please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please make sure to subscribe to my channel because i'd really love it thank you guys so much and i will see you in future videos 
see how nice it looks it looks just like there's some nose masks that are this color actually yes i should cut myself some slacks there's some nose masks that are this color anyway thank you guys and i will see you in future videos bye